Hi, I'm Sam Clift and in today's tip video I'm going to be showing you how I drew this dog eye in colour pencil. I'm starting with the dark sepia polychromos and just making an outline of the eye. I find this one really good to use instead of the black because it's easier to pull it up if you do make a mistake at this early stage. So using a light hand going into the tear duct and then just mapping out the pupil of the eye so just working on the darkest parts to begin with and also a little bit of shadow around the edge so just darkening that slightly I'm now going in with the light cobalt blue, which is a Caran d'Ache luminance pencil. These are wax based as opposed to oil based of the polychromos, so I find it really good to use these to blend. I noticed there was a bit of sky reflected in the iris of the eye. So just laying this colour down very gently in circular motions with a very light hand. Now going in with the Buff Titanium, again a Caran d'Ache Luminance, so really good to get that base colour down. Getting the first layer down. And now going in with the Burnt Ochre, and this is a Polychromos pencil, the Faber-Castell. Starting to get a little bit of that colour. You can see it's quite red in the iris of the eye. So the burnt ochre, the caput mortem, and burnt sienna. Again, darkening the outer edge of the iris. So we're trying to create that 3D look in the eye, trying to make it look as round as possible by darkening the edges and having the highlight in the centre. So I've noticed a little bit of a pattern in the bottom of the iris. So looking closely at my reference photo and trying to copy this as best I can. Again, small circular motions with a light hand. And darkening up the edge. As you can see, I'm just going in with the dark sepia again. Once you put the other tones in, you can realise how dark you need to go with the other colours, so you might need to go back and forth a little bit. Just assessing the colours as you go. Coming down into the tear duct and outlining that a little bit more. And going back into the pupil and darkening that up some more. And I've noticed a little bit more red up in the top left hand corner, so I'm going in with the burnt ochre. And burnt sienna. I will list all of the pencils that I've used in the description box. But I find with realism it's not always important to copy the colours exactly, it's more important to get the darks as they need to be and the lights as light as they need to be. That's what gives it the realism. A little bit of cadmium orange there just to bring out the colour of the eye, just to brighten it up slightly and blend those colours together. And in with 
with the Caput Mortem, Burnt Sienna, Polychromos. I'm now going in with the black, so darkening up the peep a little bit more. I tend to leave this till last and build up the other colours first and then go in with the black last. Otherwise it tends to just flatten it a little bit. If you've got more colours building up through the base of the black, it's a lot deeper in colour. Just darkening, darkening up the light cobalt blue a little bit and going in with some bluish turquoise just to recreate the sky in the highlight of the eye and a little bit into the tear duct and again darkening up the edges just crispening up the lines a little bit black and the Payne's grey. Just adding the finishing touches to the outer edge of the eye to give it some depth. And again, just darkening up the pupil a little bit. Last touch of black. And there's the finished eye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be great if you could give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Next week, I'll be drawing the shiny black fur around the eye and showing you how I build up the layers to make it look as realistic as possible. Just remember to keep practicing and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.